wagab. In this video, I'm really excited to share with you guys a new modification that I am doing to my W204, and that is updating the tail lights to the facelift style tail lights. Now, this isn't a modification where you simply buy a set from a newer model and simply install them because you cannot simply do that. They are designed differently and they run off LEDs. So the current needed to run the lights are a little bit lower because as we know, LEDs run off a lower current. So in order to make this modification work, I bought a set of aftermarket tail lights that were specifically designed for the pre-facelift models, which is from 07 to 2010. My car is a 2010 model. And the best thing about this modification is because they were designed for the pre-facelift model, they are a plug and play modification. They've already installed modules that will allow the tail lights to function correctly and with the right amount of current and power so that you don't encounter errors or experience any um, fault with the tail light itself. This is the tail light right here. You can see the difference straight away. It is pretty much exactly the same as the facelift style tail lights. The strip here is going to be your reverse light and that is your uh, indicator here. Then you have your standard tail lights and then you've got your brake lights and then I'll give you guys a demo so you guys can see for yourself what it looks like during the day and uh, what each individual lights look like. Just to show you, this is what helps run your daytime running lights, which is basically the two LED strips. That's what these two boxes are basically going to run and they will also run all the other LEDs here as well. And as you can see here, how they got it to work was they simply tapped into the wires. They added another plug harness so that they could tap into the wires that needed these um, modules. And now all you do is basically plug it into this harness instead of the one that comes directly from the tail light. And that's basically it. As you can see, the best thing about this modification, it makes it so much easier because it is a plug and play tail light. As for these uh, module boxes, it has a double sided adhesive on them so that you can simply stick it somewhere in the boot of the car or you could probably even just leave it dangling. This is going to be such a cool modification guys. I'm so excited. So. Let's do it. I've already done a video showing how to remove the tail light. So if you click on the video in the top right hand corner right now, it will take you to a video where I show you guys how to remove the tail lights in depth. Be sure to watch that video and you will see for yourself pretty much how to remove the tail light. Okay, so let's do it. All you're really going to need is either a ratchet with an eight mil or a eight mil ratchet spanner or even just a normal spanner. So one of these nuts is a real pain in the butt to get out, but I'll show you guys pretty much how I got it out, okay? Three of them are very easy to get to. It's just one of them that's really hard. Once you've removed all the nuts, what you wanna do is push it straight out first, like that, and then move it to the side a bit, then take it out. And that's it. There you have it, guys. That's how you remove your tail light. Okay, so as you can see here, you have your four mounting holes here. You've got one there, one here, one there, and one there. These three are very easy to get to, but it's this one here that is a pain in the butt to get to. So in order to get it out, this is what I did. I removed the clip that was in here that I could pull this back more. And then in order to get to it, you need to reach in over on this side Kind of get your head in here, look inside, pull this back enough so you can see where the bolt is and then simply get your ratchet on there and undo it. Now it is a bit of a pain to get to but that is the best way to get to it. We can now install our new tail lights. So first I'm going to feed in the module boxes. So I'm just going to drop them in there like this. Okay, and we'll pull this plastic back so none of it gets caught. We will now just install it.
All right, and that is the tail light in. Just to make sure it's even all the way around, we can install our nuts back in. The nut that kind of has like a washer on it, that's going to install up here. And then we simply put the rest back on. Just tie them all by hand first, and then we can tighten it with the ratchet. And now for the last one here, which is a pain to get to, we're gonna have to do the same thing. We'll pull this carpet back, get our finger in there, and try to get this on. Okay, so now I have them all on. I'm gonna make sure that I line everything up the way that I want it. Do up the nuts that are facing straight first, then do up this one last so that you can pull the light in first. Get it snug with your hand first and then get your ratchet on there and start to tighten it. Okay, I'm just going to have a look, make sure it's pulling it in the way I want. Now to do up this one here. So I'm just going to use the socket by itself first so I can get it on there and then tighten it by hand first. Now that it's tightened by hand, I can now use this to tighten it up all the way. Okay, it's starting to get tight now. I'm just checking, make sure everything else is pretty much um, the way it should be. That is nice and tight now. Alright, and that's it. Nice and snug. It looks pretty even all the way around and that's exactly what you want. You also want to make sure that this rubber here sits on the outside, not the inside, okay? One tail light installed, now we'll do the other one. Three. And now for the last one, it's going to be the same thing, it's hard to get to, so I'm going to take off the clip here so that it will allow me to pull this carpet back more and get my ratchet in. Okay, so here I've just removed the uh, clip again. Pretty much doing it by feel here, but that's fine. But remember, do it nice and slow. You do not want to drop your nut in there because it will definitely be hard to get out. All four nuts removed, and now we can simply remove it. So we'll unplug it, go back. If you fixed your rear tail light before and you have your own ground cable, obviously don't forget to remove that. If you want to see what that's about, I've done a video on that as well. So check out the video in the top right hand corner now and you'll see what that's all about. Feed in your module boxes first, like so. Alright, same drill, we'll install the nuts that are straight first, then we'll install this one last. Now to do this one here by feel. So now that's all snug by hand, we will now install it with our ratchet. Those three are done, liking the way it looks now, now to do the last one up here. Alright, and then they are the tail lights installed. Now we'll just plug it back in. Okay, so as you can see here, it's really easy to plug in. It's simply plug and play. You just simply grab your plug and plug it straight in. That's it. And that's it. It's done. So this is what I meant by you don't have to um, 
stick it anywhere even though it has a double-sided tape here you can simply just leave it in the back here because we have plenty of room in the back compartment here to just leave it dangling there like so close this back up beautiful do the same to this side now we have our plug harness just here grab our cable plug it in and look at that you're pretty much good to go and as you can see the LEDs work already now we're jumping in the car and as you can see no messages so that is absolutely fantastic guys we'll turn on the hazard lights make sure they all work still no messages as you can see now the difference with the indicator it goes along the whole tower light now rather than before the indicator only went up to here then you had your reverse light here I'm going to reverse so you guys can see what reverse looks like what brakes look like There you go, that's in the shade now. As you can see, the two LED strips here. Okay, and then you saw the reverse light just then. It looks amazing. I'm really happy with these towel lights. I have to admit, they are gorgeous. When you look at it from this side here, and as you can see, same deal. There it is in the shade. And then I remove it and the sun reflects on it. And then there it is in the shade again. I love it. Okay, and well, there you have it, guys. A comparison of what the facelift tail lights look like compared to the pre facelift tail lights. Honestly, I couldn't be happier with it. I've always wanted this modification, and now I finally have it, and it makes me so happy that I could get a set of facelifted tail lights that work with no errors whatsoever. So if you found this video helpful guys, give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads. Until next time guys, thanks very much for watching. This is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off. See you in the next one.